Good morning, everybody. I'm going to kind of try to make this as quickly as possible. Um, if I start to ramble, I'll have to cut it out because I have to keep the video under 15 minutes. And that's because of my phone. So, anyways, we're going to do a one card reading per sign because today is February 1st. Can you believe it? We already went through an entire month. So, we're going to try to keep this really short. I'm doing a real quick um, reading. One card pull per, um, per sign. Now we're going to get right into it. I'm going to kind of do a quick momentum as to where to start. Um, and I'm not going to do just, I'm just going to do this. I feel like that's where we need to start because shuffling sometimes takes too long to get to the starting point. That's where we're going to start. And let's get this baby rolling. Okay, I went and got my cup of coffee and I put my glasses on. Now I'm ready to go. So this is going to be for the month. One card pull, like I was explaining. Um, and it's just a guidance card for the month. And we're going to start with Aries. Aries is um, Ma uh, March 21st through April 19th. And it is a fire sign. And it's the ram. And we have the queen of vessels. And it is the salmon. And it's about strength and journey. And um, I feel you will be uh, bringing joy in the deepest places. And address the most difficult problems with grace and creativity this month. Dreams and visions will come into play and and there will be um, some self-sacrificing to obtain ha obtain your harmony and to get you to your goals. Um, be careful of your feelings this month. Um, uh, and don't let them don't let them be go too far um so that's that's for the um that's for aries and then we have taurus taurus is april 20th through may 20th and it's earth sign and it is a bull and i'm a taurus and this is the ace of vessels i believe we pulled this yesterday um and it's the waters of life and I feel that this month you're going to be using the wisdom of, of your family passed down. And be ready for a reawakening this month. Be ready to renew something you had once in your plans. Um, gather your emotional energies and use them to your good. Keep them in balance and connect with nature this month. Um... It, you may need to meditate quite a bit this month. I feel that there's going to be a lot of things you're going to need to um, think out or think through. Let me push this back a little bit so we can see all the cards. There we go. Um, I got to get a sippy sip. Sorry, guys. I got my coffee setting right here in case you see me reach over. And we're going to go to Gemini, uh, May 21st, June 20th. It's an air sign, twins. And we have number 10, the wheel. That is a major arcana card. Get it to kind of focus on the card. Um, and it's about change. And change is at hand this month. No matter what you do, there's, going, uh, there's a beginning and an end. And something is about to end this month, and that will make way for you to start something new. Um, welcome the change, for better or for worse, on the surface. Um, it may seem really bad, but it will all work out in the end. Um, there, let's see if that helps any. No, it didn't. Okay, just my phone being a jack butt, as usual. So, we're going to go on to Cancer. This is June uh, June 21st through July 22nd. It's the water sign, and it is the crab. 
and we have the Seven of Bows. And the Seven of Bows is all about letting gold go of old or worn out things or people that no longer um, fit your life or are no longer in need or use. And yeah, sometimes that does mean people. But most of the times it is just things, um, clutter. This is a... Um, a good time to be decluttering your home, decluttering your mind, your body, your spirit, your soul. Um, so it's a good time to be decluttering. Um, and also a spiritual and a mental uh, spaces as well. Um, I see a lot of uh, time spent on meditating and thinking about what is necessary this month and I have woke up with a really bad sore throat this morning so you're going to see me take a lot of sippy sips sorry and we're going to go um, also meditate and welcome the new things you bring into an existence this month so um, then we have Leo Leo is July 23rd through August 22nd. He is a fire sign and is the lion. This is, and the card for Leo is the three of vessels. Um, and it's the joy card. And it's time to celebrate this month. Enjoy gatherings. Um, there's something good coming to you. Enjoy the company of others and relax this month. Um, the reason I'm saying to relax is because next month I feel that there's going to be um, possibly um, a lot of things going on for uh, for Leo's next month. I feel next month is going to be um, a lot of things going on. Not necessarily bad things, but there's going to be a lot going on in March for Leo's. So celebrate this month. Towards the end of the month, remember to take time for yourself to relax also so that's for leo and we have virgo august 23rd through september 22nd it's the earth sign and it is the virgin and we have the nine of stones what a beautiful card that is that is a very gorgeous card and it is the horned um and it's about it's not, it's the tradition card and it is the Horned Shaman. And this month you're going to want to pay reverence to, um, to the past wisdoms and sacrifices that you have the ability to relate to the ancient knowledge and the past histories and lessons of your ancestors, of yourself, of your ancestors, and um, those memories and knowledges and rituals, and you're going to be passing them on and sharing them with others in your family. So this is all about traditions and um, family traditions and family knowledges and um, things like that, and you're going to be passing them on this month. That is a really good card. I love that card. So we're going to move on to Libra, and it's September twenty second through October, or September twenty third, sorry, through October twenty second, and it's the Scales or the Justice, and it is the Air sign, and we have the Ace of Bows, and it's a Spark of Life card, and this card um, pretty much says it all when you look at that picture. Um, and this month for Libra, it's going to be a month where you'll find yourself teaching others something important. And you may not even realize that you're doing it. It's going to be a skill or a lesson, even if it feels insignificant to you. It may be important to them. And it will be infusing respect in you on that person. So, watch when you're teaching somebody, even if you don't realize you're teaching somebody something new, watch what you're teaching them because they're going to 
earn, you're going to be earning respect from someone. Very good card. So we're going to go on to Scorpio, October 23rd through November 21st. It's a water sign, and it's a scorpion. And we have the Page of Vessels. Look at that otter. He is beautiful. What a beautiful card. Um, I don't think I've pulled this one before. The Page of Vessels, um, it, this month for Scorpio, you're, you're focused on your dreams and visions. And you will seem to have woven a spell over others that they cannot resist your loyalty and your devotion and your sense of fair play. And this will reward you this month. Meditate and bring into existence the things you want to have in your, in your life and in your future this month. So, um... Be charming, be whatever it is that you do, and people will notice you. And um, always remember, thoughts become things, and bring those things into existence. Hold on. My nose is itching. I'm trying not to sneeze. And I gotta roll over my paper, because I write down my, my signs so I don't get the days and dates wrong. I have to have sippy sip. My throat is getting dry because I can never remember the signs and the dates if I don't write them down. So next we have Sagittarius, November 22nd through December 21st. It is a fire sign. It is the centaur or archer. And we have the two of bows. And it is decision. And that card pretty much shows us. He's at the peak of the mountain. He's um, got two bow staves. And he pretty much is saying it all. He has a choice to make. Left or right. Um, good or bad. The choices um, that you make this month will reflect throughout the next months, years, whatever. You have to make decisions. Think about them. Sleep on them. Meditate over them. Be careful of your decisions. Be careful of your choices this month. Pretty cut and dry card for Sagittarius. Now we're going to Capricorn, December 22nd, January 19th. It's Earth sign. It's the goat or sea goat, depending on who you follow. It is the nine of vessels, and it's about generosity. And it's not necessarily just you being generous, but something or someone is going to become very generous towards you. Not necessarily, I don't feel it's a monetary generosity. I feel that possibly there may be a new um, job or a new placement or something that's going to bring more generous things into existence in your life. But always remember, whatever generosity you get... Um, Share in the gen share generously to others because whatever you share out, you will always get back thousandfold. Very good card. Um, we're gonna go on to uh, Aquarius, January twenty twentieth through February nineteenth. It's a water bear, and it's the air sign. Oh, I love this card. It's the three of stones and it's creativity. Um. For Aquarius this month, uh, let your creativity flow this month. Whether um, whether you're uh, using your hands, whether you're, you're um, in thinking or using your hands, uh, whatever you do, try something new. You may find something you thought you couldn't do, you can. So... Um, no matter what it is, try something new um, and be creative. Um, it may be at work, it may be at home, it may, you know, something new, something creative is going to lead you down a new path. Um, that's what I feel is up for you. And um, that was Aquarius and we're up to Pisces. And... With Pisces, this is February 20th, March through March 20th. And it is the um, 
water sign and it is the fish and this is the king of vessels that's a really good card to come up with uh, for Pisces um, and it's the heron and your deep um, hold on I'm gonna sneeze Sorry about that. I didn't want to sneeze on camera. But your deep belief of fairness, honor, and honesty will come into play this month in everything you do. Be careful of your self-controlling nature because it will make you appear too rigid and um, unreachable this month. And it may block something from coming your way. So keep broad-minded, um, supportive, and supportive this month. And you may have something coming your way that you did not expect. And that is for you this month. And I'm actually at the end of it. No way. Anyways, that is for this month. Um, I hope this video goes up. Um, again, this is a reading for the entire month for all 12 signs. hope everybody enjoys this. And I hope that... Um, Everyone comes back and comments and lets me know how you made out. Everybody have a blessed day. Bye-bye.